Bless the Lord. Time of my story today is she went over her daddy's head. It's been 15 years since I heard this little story. You may find it as unforgettable as I do. In the southern states that summer, the mercury had hung in or near the 90s for five or six straight weeks. It was on a morning when the sun was blazing that the testifier told us the story. Just a few days before, his five-year-old daughter had come to him with a little note of anguish in her voice. She had told him, Daddy, it's a still alcohol. Can't we go swimming? I had to tell her no, her daddy reported. It cost about $8 to take my family swimming, so we don't go very often. Some other time, I told her. But that wasn't enough. She wanted to know, why not now? So I explained that we just didn't have the money for it. Well, to the little girl, that was a good explanation, but a poor solution. She promptly took the matter to a higher court. I'm going to ask God, she said. And then with just a tiny pinch of defiance, off she rushed to her bedroom. Intrigued, her daddy followed on tiptoe and stood just outside her door, carefully out of sight, to hear what she would ask of God. And this is what he heard. God, it's awful hot down here today just awful hot, and I want to go swimming, but they charge a lot of money, and my daddy can't take us because he hasn't got that yet. So will you please do something? Thank you, God. Amen. Oh, the love in that father's voice when he told what the little girl did next. She put on her bathing suit. Then she got a towel. And then, towel draped around her neck, she headed for the front porch, announcing as she went that she was going outside to wait for God to do something. She had just taken her seat on the porch step, elbows on knees and chin in hand, when the telephone rang. Her mother answered. The caller was the wife and a couple they knew that did not know where. They were interesting and likable acquaintances, but not yet close friends. We've been wanting to know you folks better, she told the little girl's mother. Today's another torture, and we just wonder whether you'd like to come over to the club with us for some swimming. Oh, we'd love to, the mother replied. But how soon are you going? I've been lazy this morning, and there are a few things I have to do before we can come. Oh, no problem, the caller said. We're not ready yet either. I didn't even think of it until a few minutes ago. Mark 11, 24. Therefore I say unto you, what things soever you desire, when you pray, believe that you receive them, and you shall have them. For us Christians, prayer is not something we have to do, it's something we get to do. The Lord is at hand, and because He's at hand, we don't have to worry about anything. It's just a prayer of the Lord. Because He's at hand, we have peace with Him. Don't it feel good to lay down at night knowing that God is in control of every situation in our life? The Bible says the just shall live by faith. Faith is more than just believing in certain things. Yeah. Faith has to be put into action or it will die away. Right. It's a good life when we're walking with the Lord in faith. We trust Him with everything. Yeah. He is our Lord and our Savior and our dearest friend. His love and peace fill our soul. His joy gives us strength. And His many blessings are ours. Each day we can hope that we keep our faith strong. Faith is trusting the Lord in all circumstances and expecting the best, just like the little girl in the story here. God went before the Israelites in the Old Testament and He will go before us and make a way in their lives, even when it seems like it would be impossible. 
He will never leave us or forsake us, and we will claim His promises by faith every day. When we read in the Bible about great men of faith like Noah and Abraham and Moses, as well as some great women of faith like Mary and Sarah, we get encouraged in the Lord. Then we see that faith will see us through, no matter what we go through. The Lord is all we need to make it through. When we come to the end of life's journey, all that will matter is what we've done with Jesus. We are given a free will and choice to live for Him or to choose the way for the world leading to death. Lost friends, do you choose to know Him or to ignore Him today? Our Savior is the greatest hero the world has ever known. Jesus shed His blood that you might be free. Will you let Him be your Lord today? The choice is yours. Walk by faith. Put your trust and hope in Jesus. A hope that's real and everlasting. Could you just let go of the things that need to be and trust the Lord with your life? Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Good story today. I